Oh, so we don't need to dump and die this anymore. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just change a few things here. Um, toggle navigation. Let's change this class here to... Um, I'm just going to change this to main menu. So I have to change it here as well. Okay. Um, let's see. So then what I'm going to do is we're going to get rid of a lot of stuff here out of this. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, we're not going to need this form. Okay. Okay. So underneath here, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to do a for each, for each menu has key value pair. Okay. So let's just go down here a little bit. I'm going to say end for each. All right. And then I'm going to set add more thing here. So let's jump down here. I'm going to say active. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to set that equal to a blank string. Okay. And then We'll do an if statement, so php if is array value. If it's an array, we're going to do a drop down, okay? If it's not, we're just going to add the menu link, okay? And so let's go down here. Uh, uh, and else. And we'll do an end if, okay? Okay, so let's get going. Um, we're gonna grab, um, let's see. If it's a drop down, we're going to need this class. So it's gonna, actually we'll grab, grab all of this. And we're gonna put that inside the if. So if it's if it's um, if it's an array, it's gonna be a drop down. Okay. So let's see. Drop down. Drop down. Drop down. Um, basically, over here, what we're gonna do is replace drop down here with a key. Okay. All right. Yep. That looks good. And then here's our unordered list and what we're going to do is do a for each loop in here and the way that's going to work is um, val for each value as we'll do this kind of the same thing we did before um, we only need well, I'm going to keep all this for now and for each okay and then here um, we need to check active active is going to equal we'll do a ternary here um, so if v is equal to current page which we haven't set up yet we will if that's equal to current page, then um, we're going to say active. Else, we're just going to put a blank string there. Okay. Then what we're going to do, um, we need to check basically if it's the separator or not. So let's do that first. Um, after here, we'll do another if statement. So if And if um, then if that's the case, then what we're gonna do is we just need this. 
line right here, so I'm gonna copy that up. All right. There we go. So that's how we're gonna add those separators. And um, so we just need to say if k is equal to separator. That's it. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is if if it's not equal to a separator, we need an we need an else here. Okay, and what we're gonna do is grab a list item. Let's see. I guess any of these will work here. Copy that out of here. All right. Um, and I can get rid of the rest of these list items here. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and start replacing this stuff. The href. And this is going to be our value, just be, this will be our uh, key. And we're going to add a class here so that we know if it's the active page or not. So this will be act. Um, Okay, that's gonna go off of this value here, which we still need to set that up. Uh, we'll do that in a minute though. Okay, um, else, okay, yeah, we can just, we just copy this here. Copy that. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and copy this. That there, um, except for here, what we'll need to do is that's going to be V A L, and this will be K E Y. So this is going to handle the list items if it's not an array. So if it's just a, a uh, yeah, so that that'll handle that. Uh, I don't need this any longer. Um, we'll go ahead and keep this too. Um, we're going to just do a little bit of stuff here. I'm not going to do a drop down. We don't need all that. So let's get rid of all of this. Um, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to say if current user so if someone's logged in basically um, then we're gonna do and if we're gonna say hello So the one thing we don't have yet is this current page um, thing. So if you look at our actives, we're setting up this active, we need this current page set up. So at the top of the page, we're going to say current page is equal to current page. Now we don't have this set up yet, so that's going to be uh, a helper, it's going to be pretty easy. So let's go ahead and jump over to our helpers. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to lib helpers, and in here we're gonna add another function called current page. 
All right, so here we go. Current page is equal to dollar underscore server request URI. I'm going to say if current if current page is equal to p root or current page is equal to p root home index then what we're going to do is just say current page is equal to p root uh, and then we'll just say home okay and then we're going to return So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, so we'll just dump and die current page. Uh, request, dang it. Go back to the helpers file and I put URL there. That needs to be an I, URI. So yeah, uh, current page is Rua home. If I would go to tools first, my uh, current page is Rua tools first. So let's go back here and go to our main menu, get rid of that dump and die. So see how badly we broke this. Line 38 in the main menu. Let's see. This one needs to be changed to Val. Undefined variable current user. I actually put a. Okay. All right. Check it out. We have um, our menu. Um, let's try it out. Let's see. It says Hello Curtis. That's my first name. Try all this and see if it works. Tools. My tools. Tools one. Tools two, tools three. It's all working so far. We got that separator there. And that came from our menu right here. We said separator. My tools, tools one, tools two, two and three. Uh, Google, yep, that's an external link. PHP docs, that's an external link. Uh, log out, see if that works. Yep. And then it gets rid of this. We can log in. Uh, we can go to home. Yeah, it's looking good. Um, that's right here where it says brand. I'll go ahead and change that. So that's going to be pretty easy. Uh, while we're here, let's just do it. Go to the config file and right here underneath the. We'll do uh, menu brand. And I'm going to set that equal to. Okay, so we can go to the main menu now, and let's find that brand. Here it is. So we can just replace this um, with menu brand. And then we can replace this little link right here with, um, say, a P root. And um, home. So let's try that out. So 
Now it says Rua. Yep, takes me home. If I go to Tools, click that. Cool, the menu seems to be working pretty cool. I can test out those uh, external links and they seem to be working. And if you notice, this log out shows up here for me to log out. Um, but if I click that, uh, it goes away and now I have a login button because it goes off of access and you can see my tools are not here either. So I can do that. I Log in, see if we go to register. Yep, everything's looking good. So we have our menu and our ACLs and everything done now. And our menu is populated from our menu ACL. Um, so it's very simple to add new menu items right here in this menu ACL. And then when you have when you add new controllers and uh, actions, you need to add those in the permissions so that people um, can access them. So. Anyways, I hope that you're having fun so far. Um, I know I am. We're going to continue with this a little bit. I'm just going to clean some stuff up, and we're going to build some example uh, real-world type, real small stuff. I think just going to build like a little contact thing and just add that, and we can go through some of that. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're kind of wrapping this up a little bit. This is, uh, you know, a usable... Uh, MVC framework right now. I'm sure there's bugs that we'll find as we go. Um, but yeah, this is shaping up, in my opinion, pretty well. Uh, it's not as nice as like Falcon or Laravel or something, but um, we're building this ourselves and we're having fun. So anyway, I will hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful night.